2K Games, Gearbox, and 2K Australia have announced the second of four planned major DLC packs for Borderlands the pre-sequel. Last time out, the team delivered a new playable character, the Handsome Jack Doubleganger. Now, we're going back to the future, and then back to the middle of the series in a flashback. The Hollow Dome Onslaught is a story expansion positioned as playable character Athena recounting details to Borderland 2's Axton and Gage. The gameplay sounds more like the Borderlands series' most disappointing DLC, unfortunately. Yes, we're talking about Mad Maxi's Underdome Riot. In the new DLC, players will take on waves of foes to earn new weapons, class mods, heads, and skins. But wait, there's more. This offering also comes with the Ultimate Vault Hunter Upgrade Pack. This increases the level cap to 60, affording players 10 more skill points. Gearbox and 2K Australia have also committed to a new patch that will add Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. This adds a third playthrough and the option to reset progress wherever you want. Enemies will also be scaled to your level, so there aren't going to be any easy zones anymore. The Hollow Dome Onslaught DLC will be out on December 16th on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC as part of the Season Pass or individually for $9.99. So let me see if I got this right. This DLC is for the Borderlands pre-sequel, but it kind of takes place in Borderlands 2. I don't know why they're saying that it's sounding like a disappointing DLC in Mad Moxie's Underdome Riot. I mean, what they're talking about here is players going through waves of enemies to get more gear and more levels. That shouldn't sound like it's disappointing. It shouldn't. Plus, this also increases the level cap to level 60 for your characters. To me, that doesn't sound disappointing at all, especially with it being part of the season pass. This is a great thing for people who have the Borderlands the pre-sequel. But if you don't have the season pass, you can get this for $9.99, which isn't really that expensive. 